In the space of about three minutes, uh, respond to some of the valuable points uh, made here uh, this morning. I can't uh, respond to them all, of course, and, um, and I, I may have misunderstood some. I hope not. Uh, economic culture. I couldn't agree more. Um, I've done a fair amount of research on that, and uh, one of the findings I, I'm, in, I'm intrigued by is the importance of the willingness to take orders. But of course, if everybody in society is very willing to take orders, that won't be useful unless there's some people who are willing to give orders. So there, it's, it's the interaction of these two things that are very, a very powerful uh, explanation of the um, propensity to, um, to innovate. Uh, <clears throat> um, is Italy too small? I, I was surprised at that. Um, is Canada too small? I think Canada Israel. is responsible for containerization. Israel. And uh, certainly Canada did the Blackberry, RIM, and all that. Uh, they're not too small. And, and uh, Great Britain, I think, is also smaller than uh, Italy in, 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 uh, in, in some respects. So I don't think, I don't, I don't know. Uh, I'd, I'd love to hear more about that uh, idea later on. Uh, some other time. Um, <clears throat> red tape. Um, that's one of my favorite uh, variables in my statistical analyses of things. And uh, so I, I, uh, I, I agree very much about that. But it seems to me that one, even, if, even if that all that red tape had to remain, one could still make it easier for people to start up companies. And, and make their way through the tangle of red tape, and uh, that would help a lot to uh, increase uh, innovation. Um, <clears throat> uh, Startup America, yeah, uh, that reminds me of um, the idea in the 1930s uh, of, of the New Deal in America. Uh, the government set up agricultural stations around the country to help farmers with, with decisions about fertilizer and seed and all that. And uh, so this seems to me uh, an idea that's um, along the same line. It's uh, actually a very uh, old uh, idea. About um, education, I, this is so complicated. Of course education is necessary, especially uh, in today's world where so many people out there from China to uh, California, have a lot of education. But uh, it, it, it's complicated. Um, you can't just, it would be a mistake just to educate people in certain directions and then hope that the economy will innovate in such a way as to utilize those kinds of education. I think the causation has to, for a successful economy, the causation has to work primarily the other way. Various sectors of the economy will be innovating. Young people will notice where the demands are, and then they'll go and get the right education for that. <clears throat> um, one of the speakers hit upon a, uh, what I would have thought was a sensitive note that uh, young Italians uh, living with their, with their uh, parents and their grandparents and, and so forth must be under some very intense pressures um, not to disrupt the pattern and go off to Timbuktu or, 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 go, or, or to leave town, go to another part of the country in order to participate in some innovative project. So maybe that's, that's one of the things that uh, should be um, somehow addressed uh, in Italy, though I'm not sure uh, how to address it. Um, <clears throat> um, I, uh, remake Italy or repair Italy? Um, I vote for remake Italy. I, I, think, uh, I, I think there was never, uh, or maybe I'm wrong, but I've been doing a lot of economic history lately, but I don't think there was a time in Italy's history when it was right among the leaders in innovation. So I think that, that, that remaking is, 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 is the right word. Um, I understand that, that the 
Um, private uh, financial sector can be and ought to be a very important ingredient in the in the mix. You, we, we need to have uh, the traditional uh, financial entities interfacing with uh, startup enterprises and established enterprises in, in uh, the financing decision. But I don't think that, that for one minute that that means there isn't an important uh, role for some new financial bodies. I know that will create more competition and be disruptive in various ways. But I, I still think that uh, we have almost a crisis situation in several economies in the West, and I think Italy is one of them, and I think we need to take some uh, drastic re uh, action. So uh, let me then just uh, end on a conciliatory note. I, 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 I would be the first to agree that 90% uh, of what Italy needs is outside finance, but that doesn't mean that we shouldn't start somewhere, perhaps even arbitrarily. And um, w with those, um, what is it, $12 billion lying around? Uh, w uh, it it's might actually be a very 28. Good idea. I cut it a little bit. It's 28 billion. Oh, oh even size. better. But even I just better. took the 12. Uh, okay, that well, really uh, take, uh, that take, uh, that's great. So that, that's, uh, that's a good, I thought that was one of the um, impetuses for uh, interest in, in, in this idea in Italy, that there is that money uh, there that could be used as, initial, as an initial capital contribution to um, a bank or fund for uh, innovation in Italy. So thank you very much for this fascinating morning. Grazie professor Phelps, grazie a tutti voi per averci ascoltato, averci dato il vostro tempo oggi. Grazie.